morning. This is our, well, one of the machines made by, but it's controlled by Brittany, Pitney and Bowers, I believe. I just want to show that we can't get a Wi-Fi connection. And we've been told that it's the machine and this device. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to program this to the piece of software that Brittany and Bowers, I think it's their name, send and I'm going to show you then what happens okay okay so there you go <clears throat> that's a Pitney Bows is it Pitney Bows so we've got to get these two USB when it's plugged back into the device and the Wi-Fi to pick up our Wi-Fi at school I'm in a school that's all I'm going to say now it'd be the same thing for a business or anything else so what you do then you'd find your local Wi-Fi connection and you'd put in the SID and you'd put in the password. I'm going to show you what happens. Okay, so you pop to their Pitney Bowers um, website. Just type it in Google, you'll find it. Tip on the type of machine you've got, i.e. that one. Then you've got to find a support page to show you how to connect your Wi-Fi. I'll get that in a sec. Click on setting up your wireless connection to the smart link. And then go to, it should be, there we go, that one there, see my mouse there, Smart Link Setup Page. It says how do you want to do it, of course, there we go, we're wireless. Then here, on this page, is what you need, and this bit here. So you'd put in your, your, local, your, your SID of your Wi-Fi, and then down here you'd put the password in. Now I'll put mine in, but I'm not going to show you it. And then what you do, you plug your device into a wall, any socket, as it's told you. It should be flashing like this. And I'll show you. And then the next screen that comes up, bear with me, is this one. And then what you do then, you hold your device right in front of that screen. It tells you what to do. And it takes about, it, uh, about 20 seconds, 30 seconds maximum. It, it'll count it down. Hold it steady like so. And then what that does then, it programs your SID and your um, your Wi-Fi connection through this little eye. I suppose it uses binary or whatever it uses. And then this is ready to go. But it isn't. And that's the bit I'm going to show you. Okay, it's all programmed in. Put him on the screen like so. Press start. Countdown three, two, one. As you can see, it's flashing. Little blue bar tells you the how far it's got. I will let it keep going because I don't want to disturb it now. Keep going, keep going, and when it's done, it should say successful. But a few, quite a few weeks ago, we had a bit of a glitch in the system and the company that sort of runs our system is saying, no, it's not us. Take it away, wait. If this works, I'm gonna be really racked off because it's took me about 40 attempts so far. All right, see it for the screen. Wait. And wait. There you go. Every time. Now, what I'm going to do, because this is the argument at the moment, I'm saying that it's it's their security on our Wi-Fi. So now I'm going to use a dongle. This is my dongle from home. So let this fire it up. I'll come back in a sec. Okay, so I've put in my dongle, which is an Hawaii Dash 2903. You're not going to use it because you don't even, it's miles away anyway. And I put my password in. Okay, so then we come back down again. Uh, hopefully, my dongle has picked a signal up because we are in a very bad area. So it says try again. So we pop this on top like so again. 
press start. I do apologize for the time, but I'm just showing you how to program one. Two, one, and here we go. Hopefully this works. So the blue bar again. So this is flashing now. I presume it's binary, binary or hexadecimal, whatever you want to call it. And that is programming this little box to connect to my dongle. And then I'll go back to the Frankie machine, connect it to the USB port, and we should have a connection so we can actually Frank letters. Hopefully. If this doesn't work, it's going to be embarrassing. Well, I'll do it again. And there we go. So wait and see. Whoops, sauce. Ooh, it got stuck behind my chair. Whoop. There we go. Sorry. Let's see what happens. There you go. Sorry about that. Wait and see. Fingers crossed. Oh, unsuccessful. Let me try again then. So I'm just showing you there's no internet connection, so I've got to find an internet connection before this will work. It says 4G, but there's no bars. There you go. Success. I think I've changed rooms. Because I had no, um, where are we? No Wi Fi connection. There you go. Okay. So, from that, to that. Working perfect. So, what you have to do, you have to disconnect the USB from that then you know red light on the USB and then disconnect the power and then I'll take it to my office onto my PC and I will show you what to do